transform the state in the field of education. Especially he is focusing on SDG quality uh, quality education number four. So now, so when I have, when I have uh, requested for uh, him to send students to America, so he told that the principal secretary and commissioner, so to send the students, the budget is not an issue. They have to represent the uh, government at various local platforms, and uh, this is just a beginning, you know, to give the this act is. Yeah, you know, we'll influence the lakhs of students in my state to pursue education, take up education in government schools, and, you know, so that uh, youth can do any, achieve anything. So, like, it's like a motivation for uh, other students in uh, my state. And also, digital education. So, we are focusing on digital education because in the coming, uh, upcoming years, so youth can change. So, youth can change the situation of the country, development of any country. So, digital education recently, our government has launched the international board syllabus also mm -hmm. and uh, we are also implementing TOEFL training from school it, schooling itself. Mm -hmm. So taking a TOEFL training is not an easy thing in India. Mm -hmm. So in the government schools, so we are implementing training for uh, uh, to get so training on TOEFL mm -hmm. from schooling itself and that, that's a very good thing. These things all will contribute to the development of the youth in the field of education. Because education is the only weapon that can change the world. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, our government, uh, my state government, is doing very good uh, things for, for the youth development. And also, so recently I had a talk with the Commissioner of Education. So he, I told him about the Model Unit and Nations programs. Mm -hmm. So we want to start uh, affiliate with Harvard uh, University Boston. So regarding the Model University programs, mm -hmm. and uh, we want to take the students to Geneva also. Mm -hmm. So in order to make them, you know, as junior diplomats and uh, represent them uh, on global issues, and also they can participate in some global issues and you know send the reports to the UN also. So in that also, so my part I am trying to so, uh, coordinate with the government so to make this uh, to get the access for this youth. So in the policy making and uh, governance, and uh, I'm very proud to say this. I brought these ten students, two teachers and uh, many other people. So it's been a big journey. It's just, uh, in India, it's not very it's not very easy to you know, get permission from the government. Even though our chief minister has you know, given the permission budget, they are representing, the, uh, representing our state government mm -hmm. at various uh, uh, global platforms. And after this, we have a meeting with uh, World Bank headquarters also in Washington. So they also have invited the students to speak on the importance of education, gender equality. Mm -hmm. So I feel that, so India is uh, slowly contributing to the development of youth. So it's uh, giving active participation, uh, active uh, engaging of youth in various uh, 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 development platforms. And uh, recently, so in the G20 session also, so there has been increasing in the development of budget for education. And uh, <coughs> yes, India is a develop, most developed country. And definitely, I feel I am 